Hi there, I'm Will Kidd with Seven Seas Estate Sales. I'm here to give you a video walkthrough of our upcoming April 25th and 26th hybrid estate sale here in Knoxville, Tennessee. So a couple things about that. It is opening on Friday. This is a public sale. You don't need an appointment to come to this one. We'll open at 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Friday. We'll start handing out some numbers to help people who are early organize themselves around 1230. You need our number on our business card for it to count when you line up. So if anybody organizes you before we show up, make sure you get one of our cards when we show up. Uh, the other thing about this is a hybrid sale, which means part of the items in the sale are bidding online. The vast majority, and you'll see as we walk through, the vast majority are in this public tag sale. So you want to be bidding on some things, I imagine, but you definitely want to be here for the tag sale. Let's take a quick look around and we'll show you what's going on. All right, we're coming in the living room here. This room, we've got a lot of the collectibles and glassware in it. That TV underneath is bidding, but I've got a whole host of little bunnies. I've got this beautiful uh, lamp here. We've got a lot of cut crystal, crystal, cut glass. You can see there's a nice coffee table under there. There's a really pretty set of nesting tables there, and those are bidding. And the, But all this glassware is really fun, nice cut crystal pieces here. Those pieces will be... Um, uh, here in the tag sale. Down on this table, we tried to segregate a lot of the tag sale items, so just about everything on this table will be in the auction. I'll get in a little close here. We got everything from Bunnikins and Hummels to Flow Blue to Capa de Monte, two sets of China, um, beautiful crystal. This piece is a real prize, the, the asparagus tray. If you look up the value on that, it'll knock your socks off. We've got the large format camera here. We've got some great lenses. We've got the Graphflex camera, and then this beast is absolutely a knockout. If you ever wanted to take 4x5 film, uh, now's the time to jump. The, uh, the tripod and the holder alone are about where the bidding is at right now. We haven't even touched the price of the camera. Up there on the wall, you'll see also there is a whole bunch of those really good um, uh, Copenhagen, Royal Copenhagen blue and white plates. Coming around this side, you'll see I got a nice little drop leaf side table there, and it's covered up with bird and other animal figurines. These, a uh, lot of antique furniture here. These old uh, one drawer stands, this one and the one next to it are in the online bidding. All the goodies on top, the lamps, the compotes, uh, the Bristol glass, mill glass, all that will be uh, here in the tag sale. Coming around, I've got these really unusual, found these with a note in them. They're Egyptian, um, not quite weaving they're, they're more like a collage of cloth and uh, and the note with them that says the family member brought them back from about 1917 so that's kind of a neat old Egyptian item not quite ancient Egypt but still pretty neat and then another good collection here on the table we've got a nice uh, lot of good selection there of your cups and saucers take a quick pass through the kitchen as we go back this way uh, it, there wasn't a whole lot left in this kitchen but you know we've got a couple winners there are some Griswold frying pans here there's a nice aluminum cook pot and uh, you know there's some good decor there's a couple sets of flatware uh, coming back around we're just shifting back into the finer stuff and antique stuff a lot more flow blue there's a lot of silver plate here for you and uh, again a little bit of cookware and then there's a nice set of miscellaneous china pieces decor granite wear uh, those kind of goodies there's a few hand appliances in here I kind of zipped over but I'll just keep on going into the next room here sorry for that I got a little I'm backlit here so uh, let me see if I can swing around there's a pretty table here uh, square table with that little gallery in the back and a little ashtray collection I thought that was fun uh, you got a, a whole host a whole, what do you call it when you have a whole bunch of bunnies in one place I got it right here whatever it's called uh, lots of your plates ducks bird figurines here another little antique stand love this wall shelf up here that's one of the neater pieces in the house in my for my taste uh, and then a lot of uh, more decor we got another, another nice silver plate one group of silver plate was really well polished and one of it looks like it's gone uh, needs a polishing but uh, you've got a good selection here and most of it's in good shape if i back up this east lake secretary we'll see those are the shelves leaning on the front of it for the for the top but that's a beauty it's in the online bidding this table and the in the several chairs that are with it all very antique and it is uh, all in the tag sale this corner cabinet is a neat one. It's uh, about a, well, the dimensions are in the auction, but that's a neat corner cabinet. We just stuck it up on the mantle to have it uh, out of its way. And then you might call this one a salesman sample or something. I don't know. It's about 24, maybe 30 inches, another neat corner cabinet. And then up on the top, there is a run of uh, steins and such. Let me trot you down the hallway. 
We'll go down this stairway here in a minute to the uh, to the basement. But first, there's a little bit of office supply in here. You've got file cabinets, got a couple old typewriters. This is definitely one of the highlights of the sale as I spin it around here. I don't know how many there is here, 60 or 80 of these uh, world dolls or foreign dolls. Every country you could imagine is represented in here, and it tops out with good old James T. Kirk there on the bottom for some reason. All right, coming across here down the hallway, we've got a nice bedroom. Almost all the furniture in here is in the online auction. This piece accepted. There's a, a pretty oak, sort of a mid-century looking uh, chest, but this one will be bidding the handsome uh, trunk and then this vanity is bidding but today deep in the dark corners of the basement I found out it has a mirror so it does have a mirror that goes with that and if you look in the corner there's another mirror just like it and it goes with this chest sorry guys we're backlit but um, that's a really pretty chest whole heap of drawers got the key for it and then there's this bed here as well now we'll go into this last bedroom while we're upstairs and then we'll go take a look the basement's amazing we got a lot of bookshelves in here and there's a ton of books. Now I will confess, there's some books that book collectors are gonna like, my normal uh, book shopping folks, but the real thing in here is crazy old school electronics. Here we got Linux, Office 97, PC programming, using 123, there's Unix, TCIP, using the IBM PC, on and on it goes. This is a uh, highly specialized very very smart guy as far as electronics go and if that's your kind of thing you're gonna find that in this house now this um, this chest will be in the tag sale the ch office chairs computer computer monitor We've got an IBM Selectric and this really cool looking old singer all right I'm gonna pause this for a second and we'll run down the stair okay I'm in the basement now and I don't have a time here to go into the whole story but I, this is what I'll say the guy that owned this house owned and worked in an electronic shop for years and he kept all kind of cool stuff especially ham radio transmitters other kind of radio oscilloscopes you name it if it's cool and it's electronic or you need parts and pieces to fix old school electronics tubes transistors resistors all that stuff is here in volume i'll just give you a quick look around this space oh i should say before i turn tools galore so here we go this is the guy's chief workbench okay check it out we've cleaned it and staged it and cleaned it and staged it and cleaned it and staged it again and it still looks like an absolute mess but this is how it is he sat here and used uh, things like the the good old 10s timer model 626 and the uh and the repetition rate meter and the uh 615a test oscillator and this thing didn't even have a label on it and a model 737 ico resistance capacitance bridge i mean this every this is the stuff it's the place is covered up with it and and uh, a lot of it's in the online bidding but there's so much you'll see when you get here there's plenty in the tag sale and there's all kind of specialty tools in here everything you name it steel shims files all kind of measuring tools uh God, just i can't even it's bring, it makes me speechless even looking at all of it there is a ton of it here. Now, if I spin back around here, I want to show the complex drilling machine. This is a heavy duty drill press for cutting metal. Uh, everything you see here on it and with it comes with it in the bidding, including this awesome stand that's custom made for it. I go around the corner here from there and you'll see just stacks and stacks of custom made shelves we have here all covered up. And when you see these items with the uh, the white tag hanging off of them, that's the auction tag. But there's a transmitter, here's another transmitter, and on and on it goes. I mean, this stuff is cool. If you have friends, you know, tinker with this type of stuff, you need to tell them about this sale, please, and make sure they know what's going on. The other thing this guy did, he's a champion 45 speed shooter. He could shoot a 45 fast as he could go, and as a consequence, he went through bullets really quick. So he bought himself a reloader, but he didn't need just get one. There's two more down here in this tote, and there's all kind of books and information on reloading guns and everything else. So there's a gun library here, as well as the reloading stuff, and I'll show you the supplies when we get around the other side. He also played a lot around with sound. He was transmitting and receiving and everything. So look at the size of this speaker. It's four feet tall. 14 inch woofer the thing's a monster we've got an oscilloscope on a cart another oscilloscope on a cart 
I've got, uh, there's a bunch of stereo equipment in the house. There's one of the turntables. Here's a microfish reader. I haven't seen one of those for a long time. And then, okay, once again, bucket loads of the uh, of technical manuals and stuff. There are several guns in here. And uh, I've got, put them here to photograph, but they will not be in the house until the day of sale. I've got the, uh, the heavy-duty metal turning lathe here. This is also in the online bidding. I spin back around, take a look at this shelf of tools. Everything from a pressure regulator, router, uh, all kind of hand tools, working on your car tools, gyms, jigs, dowels, everything like that, sanders, grinders, all this stuff is in the tag sale. Here's a truckload of the, of the reloading supplies. You got all the bullet boxes, got a whole shelf full of primers, got cases and cases of used shells. And then we get into cameras. You saw some of the cameras upstairs. Some of the camera and uh, photography supplies are down here. We got a lot more lenses, great big lenses. The guy built telescopes too that lived here. So there's telescope lenses and microscope lenses that you'll find all around. I come around to this table. I got all kind of uh, clips and magazines for guns. I got holsters and everything. And then all this is probably close to a ton, literally lead bullets not ammo it's just the bullets for the reloading but there is tons of it and we did our online research we gave you a good price on this stuff so if you are going to try to get that reloader online great but if you reload and you don't get it there's still plenty of stuff to come here there's two craftsmen well i say four i priced the top and the bottom of that different but there's a bunch of the craftsman stuff and for simplicity we took a bunch of the tools out to price them there's all kind of tools that were in there i got a whole wall full of clamps here uh, pole clamps, bar clamps, uh, you name it. And uh, I'm going to head out from here to the garage. We've got a whole camping section we're still trying to organize. Now, the garage is a disaster still, but I want to go ahead and show you just so you have an idea of what's out here. This whole rack here covered up with tools, chemicals, painting supplies, fasteners, bolts, screws, nuts, you name it. Here's a part of the telescope he was currently trying to build. Then when I go around, there's a table saw. Then all kind of your yard chemicals and car chemicals down here. I'm going to spin back around. Oh, I forgot to mention down here in front. This thing needs some work, but there's a monster tiller right here. That's going to be in the tag sale. The East Lake, Oregon, I have an absolutely horrible photo for because the lighting in the garage here is terrible. But this thing is in the online bidding and is still waiting for the first bid. Just look how pretty this top is. You need to go place that bid and see if you can grab this thing for a song. Coming around, there's rugs in the garage. We still have to figure out where we're going to put them. Then I've got more tools. There's, here's a, um, gas powered blowers. There's a compressor. There's two generators. Coming around here, I've got the guy off of the electronics. There's several totes like this. Every cord you could ever want to know. Here's a tote full of uh, uh, plumbing supplies. I've got your bench grinder. Here's a whole stack of stereo equipment. Here's a whole stack of uh, hand tools yard tools grinder again another sander and then if i spin around here there's a whole bunch of yard tools and from some place he's got all this cool stuff from a barn where you got like an antique handheld grinder you got the hay bale um uh, i guess clamps and then here's a piece we forgot to bid it's a beautiful antique oak uh, uh you know like a china cupboard so there's a ton, ton, ton of stuff in this house. We are still uncovering it. It's definitely one of those sales. If you're the first person in the door Friday, you're going to need to come back Saturday because we're going to find stuff we didn't know we had. So please check out the uh, email. Look, Keep uh, on the website. Thanks for watching the video. Hope to see you at the sale.